and next stop is Morning! It is my last day in North Carolina. Mate, I am gonna miss you. I'm really gonna miss I think I'm gonna miss you more than you're gonna miss me. This morning, we're heading down to, where are we heading down to? Downtown Durham. Downtown Durham. We're gonna scope out the breakfast situation. We're just gonna see how it goes, right? And then, as it's my last day in Durham, what do you fancy doing today, mate? Well, what can we do to make the most of today? Let's play some pranks on some people down here and... <laughs> so what are you thinking? Uh, well, I'm thinking about we're gonna go pick up an ear horn. <laughs> and since I live on a golf course, <laughs> oh my you put God. the two together. Oh ear my horn, mate, golf course. That is gonna be hilarious. So I figure while we're picking up an ear horn, I think we can pick up some liquid ass. Lick what? Liquid ass. <laughs> So we're air horning golfers, which is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> and liquid ass. <laughs> Mate, I have never heard of liquid ass in my life. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna be getting the train at 9.20, 9.30. Shall I say where I'm going? Oh, yeah. should, should, should we still keep the suspense uh, going? I think the suspense, yeah. <laughs> I'll just tell them when I get there. They're gonna find out when you get there. Exactly. But for now, Let's go and grab some brekkie, mate. I said, so, there's a front <laughs> door right here, but I don't think we should go in. He's getting too good at this. I am, I'm learning Dude. from the best. <laughs> this is a completely different hotel, so let's give it a go. Right, so this is a back door. Right, so the back door you had to have a room key, so, right, we're going through the front. Oh, Tom's doing the phone call trick. Yeah, hey, when you get out of the room, we're downstairs, okay? <laughs> when you get out of the room. You're getting too good at this, mate. Mate, how does having two free breakfasts in a row feel? Tastes pretty good. What's the plan now, dude? We're gonna go to Walmart, get a little uh, ear horn. Mate, I keep getting in your side of the <laughs> car thinking I'm in the UK. <laughs> you think you're in the UK? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? What's that? At the start of this journey, yeah. I never thought I'd be walking on Walmart in North Carolina looking for liquid ass. I'm, I need some help in sporting goods. Can you page somebody over to sporting goods for yeah. me, please? Dude, I don't think liquid ass is a sporting goods. I don't think we're gonna get liquid ass. Do you guys have a ear, like, ear horns here? Yeah, they're right down here on the right. Do you guys sell, it's called liquid ass. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is it used for? I mean, it was... uh, it's used to spray and then it smells like just ass. Right, so we've got the air horn for the golfers, but they didn't have any liquid ass. <laughs> We're gonna try one more place to see if they've got it. If not, we're just gonna knock that on the head and then we'll go and annoy some golfers, mate. Okay, so they don't have liquid ass in there either. Right, so what's the plan now? Uh, we're gonna head back to my house and we're gonna start the fun. Right, so we're just heading back to Tom's. I'm gonna do a quick Instagram live. I'm based in LA, I'm sitting in the Ukraine right now. In Ukraine? Awesome! Whereabouts are you, mate? Manchester, man. Manchester, fair yeah, Manchester. news. Nice to meet you. Uh, it is in the vlog. Uh, it is gonna be in the vlog, yeah. Um, no, it's not really, I just wanna say good luck, not to be honest. Oh, just... mate, I really appreciate that, oh, thank nice. you. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, have a good one, see you later, mate. Bye. Bye, mate, bye, bye, bye. Right, we're about, what, five minutes from yours? Uh, tell like about five seconds from ours. Really? Yeah. That close? So no liquid ass, but we got the air horn. Mate, this is gonna be classic. Right, so we're gonna do a quick test just to see how loud this thing actually is. <laughs> He's actually bottling it because he doesn't want the golfers to come to his house. Well, how would you? Right, which window are we gonna do out of? We'll go in the Boston room. Right, so we've got Tom on the air horn in this room, and then we've got this room where we've got another window. So we've got this window, 
and we've got that window in there so we're just gonna sort of like see where they are I'm gonna switch the lens now so I can zoom in a bit better here they come here they come Looking. Right, that was practice, mate. He's lining up. He's going. <laughs> Behind the tree. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, he's hitting it towards the house. Tom's freaking out because the guy just hit the ball at the house. He was aiming at, and he wasn't even the one that we were blowing the horn at. I didn't even see that other guy. Then all of a sudden, he literally he, turned around. He turned around and went to swing towards the house. <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> So after our golf antics, we've just come to somewhere called Carolina Ale House. Tom and his wife are treating me to my last meal in North Carolina before I head out tonight. Honestly, these people <clears throat> have done so much for me. Like. So I decided I wasn't going to film any of that meal because we wanted to enjoy our last meal. That meeting. is our last meal in North Carolina, man. We're going to head back to Tom's now. Get my stuff together, mate. Grab a shower. You and reckon yeah. we could do a, a Q and A? Yes. I would love to. We do are going to do some questions back in Tom's. Yes. We're not going to speak about it until we get to yours. Mm. Hey. It's been a blast, brother. I'm serious, man. Hey, you thank guys, you. this guy right here, he's a legend, man. Serious. Um, you know, there's a few things that I've always wanted to know that I'm sure they may we don't want to know as well, but um. Do you think so far in this journey, um, I guess this is a two part question. One, do you think this is harder or is gonna be harder than Europe? And two, has this been a lot more fun than Europe? One, it's definitely harder. Like, really, this is harder oh, than Europe? Mate. Like, I've traveled 500 miles so far. Right, right. Obviously, the Europe trip was 1,000 miles. Oh, yeah, that's Like, right. I've done half of that and I've yeah. not even dented it. So, right. I look at the map and it's overwhelming, dude. So, yeah, yeah definitely had it. Second bit of the question, I mean, 100%. Yeah. You know, when I was in Europe, dude, I wasn't sleeping. You know, I was going from hotel to hotel to here to there. It was right. just, it, I didn't wash my clothes. I had a shower once. Definitely more fun. Yeah. But a lot definitely harder. harder. So before leaving, I don't know if you had any expectations, but has this trip so far exceeded your expectations? It massively exceeded my expectations. I thought I was going to get a little bit of help, but the generosity of people, mate, including you, has been like mind blowing, mate. And the thing is, what people don't know is that you contacted me, mate, before I'd even set off. You messaged me on Facebook and like posted that picture. Do you remember? Yes. And. That's why I had to come and meet you, mate, and that's wow. why I'm here. Gonna miss you, Train mate. station. Let's do it. It's that time. All right, buddy. You take care, man. It's You're been an honor. Look after yourself. Tom. Don't say goodbye. <laughs> Don't say goodbye. See you later, mate. Right, Tom's gone. It is time to go to the next place. The holiday's finished and the challenge begins. Let's get on this train. Right, so I've just got on the train, which I've got a ticket for, and my next stop is South Carolina. I'm here now, but it's literally just going to be a quick one. And next stop is...